I have the feeling that I'm in paradise because these fruits are one of my favorite fruits or better vegetables that I've ever eaten in my life. So uh, thank you for this beautiful tree, David. Thank you, tree, for making people so happy and bringing <laughs> us such uh, treasure and abundance uh, of uh, food. Yeah, avocado is, uh, is the best food for many people and for many reasons and because it was so why well, it's so fatty it's all oh, there are all the fatty acids we need the fatty acids yeah yeah, yeah, is it? yeah all the fats you actually need to be fine and healthy or present in avocados so for example could you say that uh, it could replace meat too no i wouldn't say replace meat but uh, it does replace uh, fatty acids yeah, you yeah, need yeah. to be healthy. Okay. And uh, along with a lot of, of uh, vitamin stuff, but mostly for the fat, for the good fat it was. And also for me, people, for many times, people thought it was bad to eat avocados because. Bad? Oh. Yeah, because it's fat and make you fat, but actually yeah. it's good fat. Yeah. Because uh. you actually need. And that's what makes it such a perfect food and so universal. You could survive, you would survive long. Yeah. On eating only avocados. I wouldn't mind. For, for example, I, I love to like uh, put it on my plate, mash it a little bit with pepper uh -huh. and salt, and then Good. put it on uh, Good. like a piece of bread. A piece of bread. <laughs> That's very original. Yeah, 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 yeah. Avocado is good. You can even cook avocados. You can. can you cook it? Yeah, yeah. When it's not before, when it's still a bit green, a bit ah, hard. When it's not ripe. And you yet. cannot wait for the guacamole. You you can cook them in the stew or whatever. Okay. Because, yeah, it comes out creamy. Like you don't put cream or butter. I use avocado instead of butter and cream Do you? in my cooking. Yeah. Can you use it as a butter? Yeah, butter yeah. I use it instead of butter. Okay. Yeah, and it gives the uh, oil and the fat you're looking at, yeah. and it's cooking, and yeah, you could fry in yeah. fry in avocados if but, you want. But but do I understand correct that even if it's like for example this is really hard, yeah, if you would cook it, no, you... it's too no, it's too oh, okay. it's too young. Okay. But before it's starting to yeah. ripe, and you cannot wait for it's completely mushy. So if you have a big party plan and your avocados yeah. aren't ripe, you just have to cook it. Yeah, you can still cook them. Okay. Yeah, and not have to wait nice. to eat them raw. And um, are, are they a fruit or a vegetable? Because that's a discussion I heard a lot. And do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? Well, I know what's a fruit, and the fruit is what wears the seed. Yeah. So, from my understanding of fruits and vegetables, it's obviously a fruit. A fruit, yeah. yeah. I don't see no point. <laughs> I don't see no point talking of about course. it. But uh, maybe because it's salty and people eat it with salt, they think it's a veggie. It's a vegetable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you ask the tree what the thing the is, the tree for, doesn't care. Yeah, the tree doesn't care. It's obviously a fruit. Yeah, yeah. In uh, in uh, conscious people's mind, they say, yeah, don't eat avocados because it's bad for the environment. Yeah, monoculture is bad for the environment. Although you were asking, yeah, there's so many bad bananas, but and they are changing from bananas to avocados. But it's gonna be the same shit because it's monoculture. The yeah. issue is not avocado bananas. The issue is monoculture. So yeah. And now mono, uh, avocado salt in the world mostly produced in Mexico, Mexico and South America. But Mexico is very known for that, and it's yeah. huge ma monoculture with. Very, very ugly pesticide and chemical. But for example, these ones, you do not use any pesticides, and you, I do not see irrigation here. Uh, well, I use pesticides, but I use natural pesticides when I make from cooking, from plants, from, from preparation. I ah, make. You make some preparations for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. use some other plants to treat some other plants. And it's still called pesticide, but it's not yeah. chemical. It's natural. Well, it's natural. But, and does it? Do you need to use it for this one? For uh, example, I only use uh, um, soap. 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 Um, glycerin. Uh, yeah. Yeah, glycerin soap. Glycerin soap uh, solve most of the insect issues. And where? Wh how do you use it on this tree, for example? Yeah, on the leaves. You spray. So I should do it more. See, the tree needs yeah. some care, but you spray like you were spraying whatever pesticide, but it's soap. Yeah. And if you don't know what you're talking about, uh, yeah, it looks like it's not natural, but just yeah. spraying soap, you know, it's nothing. And nothing. when you say you spray soap on it, how much do you do it? Is it a long time ago you did it? 
Well, I've done this tree a while ago, but more important is to be to be aware of the signs. Because if you look at this part of the tree, which is more in the shed, it's more attacked. But all the rest of the tree is perfectly fine. So yes. I actually spread this tree three years ago. It oh, was, three years ago? It was a lot smaller okay. and it grew a bit. But now I'm looking at it, I think I could, I could at least respray this area to make sure I don't leave space. The black thing yeah, on it? Yeah, on the black thing, it will, it will expand, you know. Yeah. So it's not about spraying everything all the time, it's being aware that this leaves in this part of the trees sensitive or, or cut the branch and make sure the rest of the tree is healthy. Yeah. Or I would spray a little this uh, located area. Is it just being smart and just observe? Yeah, yeah because the more you spray, the more you will have to spray because course, yeah. pests adapt to your, your spray. Yeah. So basically, yeah, the idea of less okay. is beautiful. Is, the more the vine, because the more you do, the more you f you help pests to grow. So that's why okay. that's, that's less as possible. Okay. Um, if I understand it correctly, you could do it without spraying the soap on it, but then the the it it, it won't be as aesthetically. It would be more ugly and not very easy to sell it. Let's say it that way. Yeah. Well, what happened is La Cochinilla, it is uh, caterpillar and it stains the leaves and grow mold and it will and affect the growth of the tree. Yes. So you do need to solve it yeah. anyway. And it will affect your production yeah. and quality of fruits because you will have like dirty fruits, then you will have to wash them yeah. with extra work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to find a solution to this uh, pest, this yeah. insect with, uh, attacking you to your tree. Or you can just spray chemical and pesticide and kill everyone. The thing about spraying soap is then, and you're cleaning the tree and you're <laughs> taking out the stuff, and that's actually work. And the insects cannot breathe if they are covered with soap, you know, yes. it kills the insects in a natural way. And only kills the insects who are attacking your tree at this time. Okay. I do not put in danger than pollinators or other insects, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And do you think there could be a more natural solution than spraying soap? Well, in an ideal, ideal food forest, perfectly balanced and so on, there is no pest and there is no predators yeah. to your tree because you will find another equilibrium. natural yeah equilibrium natural equilibrium but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not at this stage yet and I still have to find artificial solution because it's still mat maturing little by little and because I don't even know yet what I should do to really find a predator yeah. Uh, balance, natural balance. That's part uh, of your laboratory. That's why the laboratory is for. Let's find an answer, natural answer. Yeah. Then I don't have to spray soap on my trees. That's completely part of the project. Yeah. Okay. That's mm. you're growing towards it. That's nice. I'm glad to see that that avocados. You can grow them with almost no irrigation and just with. with yeah, but it has that thick of mulch. This tree has a very thick, very deep. A lot of work on the ground, so it retains a lot of moisture. You you made you made yeah, it I richer. Up, yeah, I built up the ground. As you see, it's like raised from the ground. There's that much of organic matter already decomposing, and because of this situation, it's very very protective from man wind, so it dries yeah. out very little. Okay. And now it's this tree is more than ten years old, obviously, and it would have needed a lot of water at the beginning, but now it's big enough to have roots. Yeah. deep enough to catch moisture a lot deeper when it needs a lot less water. Yeah. But still need a lot of food and maintenance and pruning and and yes, never too right. much water. I'm I'm very glad to hear that you can eat avocados that is uh, it, in in a fashion that doesn't harm the environment um, and that's uh, more ethically than because right now. I have a feeling that every time I eat an avocado, I have to feel guilty because I'm destroying the planet. But if I eat avocados here, I'm actually helping the environment because you are taking care of everything and seeking to find an equilibrium. So it gives me a little bit peace of heart. 
good and say, okay so you, you can stuff yourself of avocados as much as you yes. want and feel bad and feel shit the rest of the year that's, <laughs> yeah, that's one way of feeling things uh, yeah and then it's also more sustainable because when it stays on the land and you're gonna uh, keep the cycle of the avocado in the composting toilet and go back to compost and go back to the tree and close the cycle and not moving anything out of the because, land. Because you have a compost toilet on, on, on yeah, site? Yeah, of course. That if people eat it, they just do whatever they have to do. Yeah, and we, we don't, we don't use water uh, in, uh, yeah. in toilet in, on this farm. And then least. you, the, the human manure? You, yeah, human manure. You put it on the field back On again? trees, on trees, yeah. On trees, on trees yeah. yeah, yeah, human manure on trees. Okay. Actually, those trees are grown from human manure, if you really want to know the truth. Okay, Think so about we're it. standing on the yeah, shit heap. Yeah, yeah, he's standing on the shit pile <laughs> and he's growing the shit pile. Actually, yeah, think about it next time you eat one of my avocados. What is okay. it so good? Yeah, well, that's yeah. part of life. Yes, part of the beauty <laughs> of life, yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for enriching my uh, avocado knowledge. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank okay. you, beautiful tree, for giving me so much joy and deliciousness and guacamole in guacamole let's go for ah, it yeah okay. let's go and eat some guacamole all right please support food forest institute follow us on facebook instagram follow our website and check out our latest videos because we want to spread more food forests in the world i hope you do too and um, let's go for it mm -hmm.